brothers and sisters, Trinity de Guzman coming at you right now from the jungle of Peru. And I'm making this video because I just finished an ayahuasca dieta. And it's, an ayahuasca dieta is where you have three or four ceremonies in eight or ten days and you just go deeper and need deeper each time. But I'm making this video because first and foremost, my intention with this video is just to share the medicine because I've never seen anything help so many people so deeply. And I'm just so inspired to spread word of this medicine because it has it's the greatest gift that I've ever discovered for myself to be able to grow as a human being. And so I'm making this video for people who are into looking into it. You know, you look at this video, you search for something regarding ayahuasca and you spelt it wrong. And I'm making this video for you because, you know, I want to let you know what ayahuasca really is. So first of all, ayahuasca is spelt like it is in the headline or the title, like that, A-Y-A-H-U-A-S-C-A. And ayahuasca is a plant medicine from the Amazon of South America. And it grows in other parts of the world, but it's originally from the Amazon. And different countries like Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia even, not really Bolivia, but uh, Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia, and Brazil are the five main countries that, that share the medicine of ayahuasca. And ayahuasca has been around for thousands of years. You know, tribes have been working with this medicine for thousands of years to connect back to their truth, you know, to, and what do I mean by that, to their truth? I mean to connect back to who we really are beyond these bodies in this world, this very dense, difficult often reality, who we are as spirits here for a human experience. And, you know, ayahuasca really calls the people who already know that deep down inside. And so if you're watching this video, then I'm sure that you can feel like a resonance with that. And I'm not just some weirdo filming a video in the jungles of Peru. And like, anyway, going on from that, I'm sharing this because, you know, I've never seen anything help so many people so deeply, so profoundly. And just like yoga and meditation entered the Western world, not even a hundred years ago, a couple dozen years ago for yoga, like, I don't even know exactly, I might be wrong, but anyway, the same thing is happening with ayahuasca. And that's why you're finding more people around you are talking about it, are experiencing it, are, you know, you're hearing just more about it. And more people's lives are being changed with it. There's, I've never met anybody who's ever had a bad experience with ayahuasca. Yeah, sometimes you might have a difficult experience, but like, if you feel the call, don't give up on it because it's doing exactly what it needs to do. So I'll give you a little bit more information about what ayahuasca is. It's a plant-based tea. And so it's a tea made out of two different plants, chakruna, which is a leaf, and ayahuasca, which is a vine. You cook the tea by mixing ayahuasca and chakruna, layers of it, and then boiling it over fire for five, six, seven days. And from there, you get a very concentrated tea, which is known as ayahuasca. And when you take the tea, you drink it, and how it works is the chakruna has DMT, and the ayahuasca has what's known as an MAO inhibitor, and the MAO inhibitor stops your body from breaking down ayahuasca in your stomach so that the, IO, the DMT can be absorbed into your body. Now, this is the scientific explanation of how ayahuasca works, but even more powerfully, that I can explain the medicine is that it's a spirit. You know, you're sitting with a teacher. They call her Mother Ayahuasca in the jungle here in Peru and in other parts of the world, they call her Grandmother Ayahuasca. And the reason being is because she really is, she has that energy of like this feminine, that nurturer, that provider, that giver, that caretaker. And at times she can give you that spank you need, but she's really there because she loves you and she just she wants to take care of you and help you and when you sit with the spirit of ayahuasca she gives you exactly what you need whatever that is you see we all have these limiting beliefs these patterns these 
things that don't serve us, these ways of being that don't exactly, that aren't exactly in alignment of who we want to be in the world. And so the medicine allows us to want, get clear on what those are. What are these patterns or these beliefs or these habits that don't serve us that we keep doing unconsciously? What are they, first of all? And then two, she helped us actually release them and let them go. And, you know, like, I made this video because it's so important that I share with you that, you know, if you're feeling the call to ayahuasca, that you really check in with yourself. Like, are you really serious about your work, your healing, your expansion of consciousness and coming back to your truth, who you really are? Because if not, it's not a game. Most definitely not. And you shouldn't take it lightly. Don't just do it for the sake of having an experience. You know, if you're called ayahuasca, I really invite you to check in with yourself to see, are you really dedicated to letting go of the things that don't serve you and to stepping into who you're really here to be in the world, your highest potential, your best self, your higher self, whatever word you want to call it, you know, but just your highest truth. And... That's what the medicine's done for me. Like personally, I've ha I've drank so many times over the past year. I moved to Peru so that I could really sh like sit with this medicine because it's helped me so much. It's allowed me to expand my ability to create more powerfully with less effort than I ever have. You know, like one of the things that's coming up for me recently in my ceremonies, it's like. Before, I used to create so much from like, boom, second chakra, masculine energy of just like sweat equals success. And just like, boom, you know, getting shit done. And I was just like, focus, laser focus. That's all I cared about. Focus, determination, dedication, let go of everything, like working 14, 16 hours a day. And you know, it, it served me. I had to do that as it taught me what it needed to teach me. And I've been able to create a certain level of success by doing that. But more important is what I'm learning now is how to create from the heart, how to create through allowing, through flow, through surrender, through, you know, through not force, but through receiving. <laughs> and it's such a small tweak. Actually, not, not really. It's actually a huge tweak, but the differences in how I apply it in my life are, are, can, are just like so small you know like don't have this moment be something to get to the next but really embrace creation in each moment and there's so many different things that i share about in different videos about my experiences with ayahuasca and each of my ceremonies and i have lots of videos about that but you know this video is really for people who you know you're called ayahuasca you clearly by just what you were searching for for people i'm making this video for it, you're fairly new to the medicine. Yeah, you know, that's my assumption, and I hope that's right. But with that all being said, I really advise you to educate yourself on the medicine before you move forward with it, before you come to Peru and experience the medicine for yourself. Because it can be the greatest gift for you. It can teach you more than anything you could even imagine. But really check in with yourself to see if you're serious with your work, with your healing, with your expansion of consciousness. And if you're really ready, because it's not easy, not at all. You don't say, it's not like, you know, something you would take rec recreationally and whatever you take recreationally and do it for fun, for an altered experience. No, it's not very fun during the actual ceremony. You know, you purge, you vomit, you let go of so much. And it's not easy. I'll just put it that way. So educate yourself more, watch more of my videos, and I have a site called ayahuascahealings.com, and it's really just a resource to help people who are called to the medicine and are wanting to learn more. You know, I came to the jungle because we had opening ceremony at the retreat center that I'm helping launch. I'm not the one, like, serving the medicine or here caretaking the land or building or anything, but, like, I'm just sharing my gifts to be able to help share the medicine through the center. And I saw the visions to do this from an ayahuasca ceremony that I had last year. And boom, in a year, I'm helping co-create this retreat center. And like, that's an example of being able to create more powerfully than I ever have. And it's just like, it's just happening, you know? 
It's purpose flowing through us, spirit acting through us. And that's what it allows us to really tap into so powerfully. So with that all being said, I thank you for watching this video. And you know, I invite you to check out ayahuascahealings.com. The link in the description is going to be down there somewhere. And yeah, I just send you all my blessings and love for your path to come back to your truth, to who you really are. Love. Thank you so much.